Hello friends, in this video we will discuss how to create dynamic wear condition with your store procedure. First, I will discuss one scenario with you. Suppose you have 20 column in your database like first name, last name, designation, job title, grade, address, city, country and you want uh, and you have applied various filter on your grid like filter by first name filter by designation or filter by country and city at that time you need to create dynamic wear condition with your site because every time your grid is going to be displayed but the conditions are according to your parameters if your parameters are blank you have to ignore that parameter so let's check this with the help of example i have created one table having first name last name cell number address date of birth date of joining salary designation and department now i will apply filter on designation and my first name there are some scenarios in which user will only enter first name not designation you in another scenario user will enter only designation not first name in one scenario user will not enter first name and designation and the last scenario is user will enter both first name and last name these are the scenarios now i have to create dynamic wear condition so that every time i will get correct result for that what we will do select star from employee where now this is the uh, dynamic wear condition that i am going to apply parameter is null or the column name value like first name then complete this bracket end condition parameter is null or designation like this one so what is going to happen if my parameter is blank if user will not enter first name it will ignore it and it will apply end operation with the another statement now uh, let's uh, execute a store procedure so you will get better idea first i am going to apply both nulls so i will get all the values so i got all the values now if i will enter only first name then it will return me this value if i apply another value it will return me this value if I leave it to blank then it will return all software developer values so by this way you can easily apply dynamic wear condition with your store procedure the same video is available in form of blog blog link is available in description box Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubt related to this topic, mail me at druvinsha16 at gmail.com. For more updates, stay tuned with us on Facebook. If you really like this video, don't forget to subscribe my channel.